What's up? Welcome to another episode of Garage Topics. It's my buddy Blaine. How's it going? We're in another fresh, fresh whip. Just two bros hanging out in a car, no big deal. This is a race car though. Um, you want to tell us about this thing? Like you said, this is the new Garage Topics project car. We are sitting in one of the 1986 Long Beach Grand Prix celebrity cars. The guy who drove this one was on a few shows you might be familiar with. Just recently, he was on Top Gear. And uh, before that, he uh, ran around with his shirt off all day at the beach, rescuing people on a show you might have heard of called Baywatch. Mr. Hasselhoff. So here it is. It's a 1986 Toyota Celica GTS. And uh, I think this was used at Danny McKeever's driving school for a while. And then Ronan Auto Works got a hold of it in uh, some form or fashion and they have used it to kind of rent out to, to, to people looking to use it in a school learning type setup um, such as VARA, uh, Vintage Auto Racing Association, something like that. Um, and then they didn't have a need for it anymore so we were able to, to acquire it. So from there it, uh, it just looks like your normal 80s Toyota Celica with uh, the TRD livery of the time, which is pretty cool. I'm a huge fan of this stuff, like with the Baja trucks that they used to have, it looks very similar. The glass is out of the back of it. I think there's some uh, extra tubing that we need to weld in there. Um, I'm not sure how we need to do that at this point, but we need to research what class uh, or series we're gonna use the car in and, uh, and then make those decisions appropriately. Um, the car is running a wonderful set of American racing rims wrapped in Toyo Proxis RA1 rubber. You know what they call that where I'm from? Club Dirty Fresh. The car has no interior. I'm sure that was dispensed with when it was originally intended for or slated for use in the Long Beach Grand Prix celebrity deal. Um, and then an interesting fact, I was looking this stuff up, I couldn't find any any video of Hasselhoff driving this car, but I did find that Dan Gurney, who just recently passed away, uh, one of the American racing greats, raced in the same Long Beach Grand Prix race with him. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure he won. Ah, that would make sense <laughs> that he won. Yeah, absolutely. Fun fact of the day, Dan Gurney invented the Gurney flap on race cars, which helped out with downforce a lot. We could stand to save some more weight at least by taking the windows out. We've got a net that the car came with in the back. Oddly enough the factory sh hatch struts still work. There's a ton of stuff back in here that'll help us out. Some seat belts, I don't know if they're legal still or not. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Um, that's that's the name of racing. That's the game of racing, right? Figure out what you can get away with. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, safety is a big priority. That's nothing really to joke about. Um, it's got Crow Enterprises, and never really heard of them before. Is that blue? Yeah, it is. Yeah, like, that's a blue. Kind of a 80s dark Toyota <laughs> interior. Still got the cruise control button. Why is that on the right side? <laughs> as far away from the driver as possible. We're no idea. Here. Here's another gym. Oh, H back yeah. controls. Get a load of that. That's a legit. That slide. Function. That it's a little good. notchy. Yeah. Slightly. That doesn't feel good. This is the side glass that we were talking is out of the car. Because um, we need to, need to put some more piping on the roll cage. Uh, it also has, let's see, what do we got? Oh yeah, look this at that. This is Club Dirty Fresh. Got the center cap too. That's hot. Man. Beautiful. Fresh. <laughs> what are we looking at? You are looking at a freshly rebuilt 3S GE that was in this car before it had a, a little bit of a drivetrain accident. I think the flywheel came loose. So, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, mistakes were made, and uh, now it's back together, and we just have to put the clutch on before we can put the transmission on, and then we're going to put the new engine mounts on that we got for it, and then locate it inside the, the engine bay. 
It came with the header. It's got a nice little V-band on there. The rest of the exhaust isn't so uh, amazing, however. I mean, <laughs> I think it's got to be a... It's probably a pace setter header or something like that. No engine. Engine. Get in your home! It's got a new radiator. A uh, new cooling fan. It actually came with a new Odyssey battery, <laughs> uh, which is all juiced up and ready to go when we get uh, a little bit further down the road on the project. Um, came with fixed bucket seats and brackets that are not bolted in at the moment. The interior is all gutted. It's got some gauges in it. Yeah, auto gauge in some pro. Fresh. Staples of the aftermarket performance industry, I'm sure. I noticed the uh, Ronin Auto Works license plate cover. Oh yeah. Gotta, gotta get the shout out. Shout out. Um, this is the clutch that came in from spec by way of Injuku Racing. Thanks to Ant down there at Injuku for the help with this. Fresh. Alignment tool, pressure plate, new stage one disc. It's not making Mondo power, so. Why do, why do we have a, fit something better than a stage one clutch? Uh, well, I don't imagine it's making gobs of horsepower or torque, and uh, so having something radical in there like a unsprung puck clutch would just kind of be overkill in my opinion. So we're going to give this guy a go and, uh, and see how it treats us. And then it's always good when a project comes with a starter and an alternator. Yep, kind of need those to make it start and give it power. There's the factory ECU. Is there any harness for this at all? <laughs> uh, sadly, yes. <laughs> oh, that looks miserable. That's going to be a little bit Yeah, or we might uh, try out one of those trick MSD solid state relays. Um, that might give us a better run for our money in the long run. But yeah, yeah that's the harness. Fuel rail. Uh, the other thing I noticed when we were looking through this are the injectors look pretty haggard. I don't know. They... We could just get with Dishworks or whoever and either have these cleaned or maybe they have some replacements. Uh, this is the other not so great thing. Oh yeah. You don't need a cover for this. Might have been doing some mods on it. Who knows? Yeah. So we'll have to navigate through that when the time comes as well. If anybody has one of these that's in great condition, please let us know. We'd like to get it from you. That is pretty much it as far as what the car came with. It's, um, nothing, it's nothing crazy. It's just a it's, car. It's 95% there. Yeah, it's nothing like a horsepower beast. It's just something that is safe, has some good suspension slash tires, hopefully still. But the main point is to get some experience sitting in these things which are called seats seat time that's all the point of this build and we gotta do it we gotta do this for my main man mr hoff keep it real this thing's gonna <laughs> feel intimidating with how loud and tinny it's gonna sound oh yeah uh, definitely gonna want to use earplugs inside your helmet and put a quieter muffler on it one of the guys we work with actually drove this at uh, one of the school training days, and um, he said it was probably one of the loudest cars he's ever been in. So uh, we're going to have to do something about that to make sure that it meets sound uh, at our local track, NCM Motorsports Park, here in Bowling Green. So um, we got some gauges we got to figure out. Um, Obviously, the car doesn't need a speedometer, but it needs a reliable tack, uh, oil pressure, and coolant temp at the very least. And um, we got to make sure the car is solid from a wiring perspective. Yeah, that's going to be a nightmare, but it's all, it just needs a lot of labor, not a much of money thrown into it, so which yeah. is kind of cool. So. Next episode, I guess we're probably going to start putting motor mounts on, install the clutch, which allows us to install the transmission, and then we may try to. Uh, drop the engine back in the car. Yep, and yeah, let's hope that it goes back in there fine. It looks like it will, but you never know the project. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching. So, sure to subscribe, leave comments, leave questions about this car if you got them. Um, if you have any footage of this car or any pictures of this car running. Or any spare parts for a 1986 Toyota Celica GTS. 
let, let us know. Yeah, they were common cars, but you don't see too many of them anymore, which is a bummer, but we're here just to fulfill this car's dream and bring it back into the public eye. That's all we got. Make sure that your dog doesn't get stuck with Hassel Hustle in a room by itself because you don't know what's going to happen. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Holla at your boy. No, uh, I always have to cut stupid shit that I say like that. Like, yo, bros. <laughs> I have to cut it out. It helps you get in the, in the zone, though, for yeah. it.